So today I'm going to show you um, how to use the Windows Movie Maker. It's a pretty good program to create videos. Of course, first thing you need to do is to go online and find the program and download it. And then go to setup and install it to your computer. After the installation is done, you may have the desktop icon here somewhere on your desktop. If you don't have it, go to set, uh, startup and then uh, find the Windows Movie Maker and click on it. Here I am here. So I'm going to double click. And open it. Here, um, of course, you need your videos. So, there's a button here to add videos and photos. You can either create videos, if you add your photos, you can create slideshows with this program. You can also add music to it. You can record webcam videos. You can record your narration into your videos and add titles, captions, credits. Here I'm going to click to add videos and photos and find few videos to create a new video. If your files are big, it usually takes like a couple of minutes for the files to be ready. Here I have three videos that I shot on the beach with my camera. They're all HD. Here you can push play. And watch the videos first. Here with this thing, you can like move left or right to go to different parts of your video. You can like click on this video, move it to the other sides to change the space. Uh, let me show you this. Um, here you have a bunch of transitions that you can add between the videos, like horizontal, vertical, bunch of transitions. You also have pen and zoom. Here if you want to add record narration into it, if you add a mic, you can push this button and start recording it in time. You can add titles, captions, credits. Here there are some themes. This is the default. It's the cinematic theme. It's the fate team. It's got black and white sepia pen and zoom themes. Here you can rotate left or right. And the program already has some effects like blur, edge detection, posterize, threshold, black and white effects and then some cinematic effects some mirror effects fade out some color effects pixelate 
spin fx and the last one is warp but you can play around with them to see how they all work here in the project section you can make your video either widescreen or standard and you can emphasize narration, video, music and just click no emphasis can preview the video in full screen in time yeah this is the important part here you can change the video volume of your video you can fade in or out of your audio you can change the speed up to 64x then if you click 64x makes it like like a time lapse very very fast now it's 1x this is the regular speed and you can also slow it down and if you want to cut out any part of your video like here there are some people I don't want them in my video right so here I move it to the right spot and click split and then I move to the other part I want to cut it out all the way here click split again here this is the part and click uh, right click on it and then click remove it's gonna be deleted so the, all the parts that you don't want to see in your video you can remove them and delete them anytime with the split button there's also video stabilization order anti-shake trim tool only like removes the beginning or the end parts so I love the split option to remove any parts of your video in the middle at the end any part you can remove it in time uh, let's see what else we have here uh, this is a very simple program to create some simple videos with the footage you have add some effects to it some transitions to it you know, I love using this because it's very very simple and then after you're done with your video I have three videos here uh, I didn't add nothing to them I just want to keep them as simple as I can I only just cut out some little part out of it so if I want to save it this way like there are some share buttons as well for the most used websites like Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, Flickr can share them through this program after you're done you just click the save movie button and there's also some different options for the platforms you want to save into to upload faster this is the YouTube it makes the video like upload faster to YouTube so I use this so find the folder that you want to save into change its name and then click save and it takes like a few minutes for it to you know be saved into your folder so that's about it you know it's a very simple very easy to use program to create videos either to upload to youtube to facebook if you have Vimeo account or anywhere or if you want watching yourself a tip to, to share with your friends and family it's a great program thanks for watching bye